And we're back, and right now we are speaking with musician, producer, recording studio owner, and newest member of Cannibal Corpse, Eric Rutan. Welcome to the show, Eric. Chad, how you doing? Nice to speak with you again. <laughs> I'm doing great. So, so we had Alex on last month talking all about the album, but today we want to hear a little from you. So, first of all, we all know you toured with Cannibal the last go around. Uh, when was it that they decided to make you a permanent member, and how did you feel about that? Um, it was February of 2020 is when. We discussed, you know, me joining, and um, I mean, of course, the, you know, the first thing I thought was, "Wow," you know, <laughs> like um, I, I, you know, the, I felt so honored, you know, to, I've always felt honored to be able to work with the guys and, and produce. I mean, we've done five records together now. Mm. We've been friends, you know, since like 1990. We've known each other since like really close to the early beginnings of, of all our careers. And, um, I mean, I, I remember Alex and Paul seeing cannibal course play when I was in ribbon corpse and them giving us eaten back to life, the first album before it wow. even come out. And so I, I couldn't help, but my whole career and life flash kind of before my <laughs> eyes at that moment of like, wow, this is happening. And of course, like, um, just, I, it was like the biggest decision I ever make. That was really the easiest decision for me to, to make is because I feel such a part of Cannibal Corpse. And these guys are great friends and, and family to me. And I really enjoyed uh, playing with the guys and touring together. And um, we had already discussed doing the record at Mono Recording and me producing. And so this was kind of like the the next step of, of my involvement with the guys. And so I, I, of course I got to writing right away and, you know, I was doing pre-production with Paul and at the studio with all the songs, a lot of the songs were written already. So I was trying to just, uh, ended up writing three songs of music and lyrics and kind of, uh, you know, adding different dynamics to the album of what we had set forth already. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the whole last two years for me has been a complete uh, whirlwind. I mean, it's just so many things have happened. Uh, but, yeah, I feel so great about it. And, and being a part of Cannibal Corpse, it's it's like, man, you, I, it's hard to think about my, you know, like when I think about my whole career, 30 <laughs> years ago, I was doing my first album with Ripping Corpse. And, and here I am 30 years later uh, joining Cannibal Corpse and, and doing more of an angel and hate eternal in between. It's just just really amazing and I'm, I'm super excited about it of course and uh happy to play with you know rob and alex and paul and george and, and really really excited for the future and, and you know you said you got right to work writing these this music for them as well so so what did the band think when you presented uh, your songs to them eric um well i i mean i think they're they're excited you know <laughs> i i definitely you know I tend to push the limits on, on everything I do. Uh, people kind of know that. So, um, but they were really excited about it. Um, and partially is, you know, like the fact that I write lyrics. I mean, I've been writing lyrics since I was like 14 years old. And then, so, you know, for me to help contribute lyrically, um, is something cool. And, and those guys, they welcomed me with open arms into the band and, and really wanted me to contribute. Um, and they know, you know, they they knew that I would be able to contribute some music that would kind of obviously fit in the fold of what Cannibal Corpse is. I have all the records. I've <laughs> produced many with the guys. And, um, you know, I feel like I have a great understanding of the band. And I just wanted to kind of write Cannibal Corpse songs with my own feel. And the guys were really excited about it. And, uh, you know, for me to write lyrics for Cannibal Corpse was freaking amazing. You know, I, I had a lot of fun um, doing that also. And. And of course, you know, working with George on the vocals uh, in there was super, and working with, you know, Paul on the songs and with Alex and Rob, it, it, it was it was fantastic. Um, so I know the guys were really pleased with uh, the songs I wrote, and I look forward to writing many more songs in the future for sure. So, so tell us a little bit, bit about the songs that you wrote and which you had said you also wrote the lyrics for too. So, so what were some of these? Um, songs about musically and lyrically eric well i you know what if i if i remember correctly 
uh, Ritual Annihilation. I think that's the first song I started working on, and I just wanted to write something that was like a kind of triplet, blasting, really aggressive <laughs> song. Um, and from that, I, I ended up writing uh, Over Torture, which was um, crazy. Like, that song started one day I, I woke up and, and and this is what's kind of terrifying about that song is that I, I woke up one day I'm having coffee and all of a sudden the first riff of that song I just had floating around in my head it's just like and I was thinking man what the hell is wrong with my brain if I've got that riff you know twirling around in there and so it I just ended up going into my little home studio here and recording you know translating my the melody in my head into guitar and the whole song kind of took off from there. And then condemnation contagion, uh, you know, that song, man, I, I really wanted to write like a really heavier kind of song, but you know, you can think about what you want to write, but ultimately it's all about feel. It's like, you know, these songs come naturally for me and they always have the way I write. Um, I don't usually put too much thought process into it. It's really just about feeling it out playing and playing until something comes out that I just feel really great about. And, and that song, I kind of started writing right around when uh, the COVID news was coming out and then lockdowns were coming. So of course the surroundings of everything going on. And then at that time I was watching like a lot of like, uh, besides the news, I was watching like, you know, pandemic zombie movies like 28 <laughs> days later and you know um ended up watching like you know i am legend and then uh you know dawn of the dead and then watching contagion and and all these movies like i don't know i i don't know if that was maybe the best idea for my mental state but i mean there was just complete chaos and the whole leading into the record you know when we started recording businesses were being locked down like the week before we started tracking drums in april and uh you know they had we had travel bans and i mean it, it was a pretty the whole process was a really intense unique scenario that I, i'll never forget i mean recording a record during a pandemic uh, I, was we didn't know if we'd be able to start it and complete it with everything going on uh but i feel like some of that energy translated into the record because i i mean I, I know that all the guys in the band like did such an amazing job with you know of course they always do you know writing writing great songs and working their tails off to to make a great record i feel like we really came up with something special and, and did you have to get in a cannibal state of mind when you were writing the lyrics for those i mean it was you know for me it's always i guess it's it's funny. I do I do a lot of different things, as you know. I always have, and, mm -hmm. and that's because I'm just an ambitious person. You know, I like to do multiple multiple things. But I mean, I kind of just I'm able to also have like a hyper focus mode, and so like I just put the horse blinders on and just dive deep. And when I started, when I started, I was working on some other things prior to you know me becoming a permanent member. But once I became a permanent man. I knew I was playing on the record. I knew I was going to write some music um, and lyrics. You know, I, I just kind of like everything else went by the wayside and I just kind of dove deep into cannibal course mode, you know, <laughs> and I was just waking up, having coffee, riding my bike, playing guitar for, you know, six, eight hours a day. And then learning um, some of the other songs to track on the record on, as well as writing music. And then, uh, you know, I write lyrics at night, you know, I'm sitting there out late at night because I'm a I'm a night owl. And so I was pretty much just living and breathing Cannibal Corpse. I mean, all last year from from that moment till the record was done. And I think August of last year, we finished uh, maybe in July, August, we finished the record. Um, so I was I just have luckily for me, I, I you know, I'm able to have that ability to just kind of really hyper focus on whatever i'm doing and when it comes to albums and of course you know you're working on i mean this is cow of course we're talking <laughs> here so you know like of course i'm i mean everything goes by the wayside when i do a record you know regardless of what record is in the studio i just kind of like put all my energy and, and focus into that album and 
this record, of course, with the multitude of things that I was um, involved in from the producing and tracking and mixing to the playing and writing. And it was, I mean, I was just completely um, submerged and, and focused on, on Cannibal Corpse only. And that really helped, honestly, with kind of dealing with all the other stuff around is like, you know, once that record started, I wasn't watching the news. I wasn't doing anything. I was going to the studio, working 10, 12 hours a day, coming home, repeat. And I did that for months and months. And then once the record was over, then the reality kicked in. Oh, shoot, you know, <laughs> COVID, COVID's still around. But, but it was it was a nice reprieve from watching the news every day and losing my mind. Well, everything seemed like it went so fast for you once you became that permanent member. Like you said, you're writing, you're doing like pre-production, you're producing, engineering, mixing, learning all the songs, you know, coming up with lyrics and all that other kind of shit. So it you did. just I keep mean, that blinders on and just super focused none of this gets like overwhelming or anything you don't want to like pull your hair out or anything um you know sometimes i think well my my whole life has prepared me to be able to handle many mm -hmm. scenarios um so you know i've had many challenges and many adversities in my life and and so when you're presented with something like this that is, is an amazing challenge that i'm completely up to the task for and i embrace and want to be a part of of course you know to produce cannibal corpse and to be a part of the band and to write for the band it's just, it's just an amazing thing and, and such an incredible feeling um to to finish the record but really the last two years has been kind of a whirlwind you know i mean one minute hate eternal's main support for cannibal corpse and then um we just released the pond desolate sands and then next thing you know i'm filling in in Cannibal Corpse touring with Morbid Angel and uh, we did four tours and then I did a Hate Eternal tour in between all that. So I did like <laughs> six tours within a year uh, on top of an album production. And, and then the next thing you know, we're talking about uh, recording the record studio. And then the next thing you know, I'm, I'm joining the band. And then the, so it's kind of like two years just went by like, like nothing. And, and so I, didn't have a lot of time to really think or <laughs> I'm an overthinker, man. I overthink everything. It's, it's, it's like my, my brain, it just never shuts off. But in this case, things are moving, things are rolling, you know, and you just, you just go with the flow. And, uh, of course I embrace all of it. And for me, when, when challenges arise or things get tough, that's kind of when I rise to rise to the occasion. And it, it, it always brings out the best of me. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I just try to balance it to the best of my ability, everything going on and then, and move forward. Well, the, the album came out great. I mean, it's something that you all could be super proud of. I knew Alex was really super excited about it too. And, and, you know, Eric, our time is drawing to a close a little bit, but as far as Cannibal goes, what is it that you are looking forward to most on this new venture with these old friends? Oh, well. It started with, you know, doing the rec record together, you know, like, I mean, working with Paul and then, of course, working with Rob, you know, me and him, I, I feel like we make a great guitar team and we've always had a great working relationship, Rob and I, Paul and I, Alex and I, and George and I, of course. Um, so, you know, starting with this record, writing these great songs, and then, well, I mean, one thing I really look forward to is being able to get out there and play some shows i mean this is mm. going to be the longest stretch i haven't played a show in my probably my whole career i think and so i'm really excited to get out there play some of these new songs and 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 then uh you know ultimately write another record and then work together more and um really embrace the future of cannibal corpse and but i man all i keep thinking about with the record coming out the fact that we can't tour right now is is really uh, Killing difficult because <laughs> we want to get yeah we want to get out there and play these songs so we're I I look forward to when we you know we just 
are having band practice and getting together every day and, and getting ready to go on the road again. And that's something that I'm really, really looking forward to. So there you guys have it. Cannibal Corpse have a new album out called Violence Unimagined on Metal Blade Records. And Eric, thank you for coming on to talk about your experience in all of this. And as always, we wish you and the band all the best. Jet, thank you so much for having me and uh, appreciate it as always. And look forward to talking to you again. There we